Tonight, a judge ruling in favor of a local father ordering the city of Wilmington to turn over evidence to him in his daughter's death. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Casey Pitzer was found dead in a Clinton County pond in 2013. Her death was ruled a drowning, but her dad thinks she was murdered. Our Cordy King joins us live with the story you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, right now we're live outside the FBI headquarters here in Kenwood because Wilmington police requested the FBI to look at the case earlier this year. This was actually after Ohio BCI made several recommendations for Wilmington police in the case. And Casey's father, Greg, tells us that he thinks he hasn't been given all of the evidence in his daughter's death. Never easier. Never. No. If you ever lost a kid, you would know how I feel. Last month, a Clinton County judge ordered the city of Wilmington to provide items in the death of Casey Pitzer. Finally, I finally got something, you know, in my favor, you know, instead of everybody going against me. Greg Pitzer is Casey's father. He filed the lawsuit against the city of Wilmington in February of 2023. I've got so many questions, unanswered questions to give to them, so. Casey died in 2013. Her body was found in a small pond here near State Route 73 and US 22 in Clinton County. Police reports alleged Casey was out with friends that night drinking. Documents say she later got a ride with two men, but those men say during that ride she got out and ran across four lanes of traffic on 73 near the lake she was found in. The coroner ruled her death a drowning and acute ethanol intoxication, but Greg says he thinks his daughter was murdered. He has filed several record requests with both the city and police department. You know, that's my evidence. Why are they keeping it? If they have nothing to hide, why don't they turn it loose? The lawsuit claims evidence is missing in Casey's case, including surveillance videos from the bars she was at and a local Walmart from the night she died. Greg says he received CDs several years ago, but some were blank. I want to see the videos of my daughter of the last time she was alive. The city responded to the judge's ruling this week, claiming they have provided all evidence they can. We reached out to the attorney for the city of Wilmington, and he provided us this statement. The city of Wilmington continues to express condolences to Mr. Pitzer and his family for the tragic death of Casey Pitzer in 2013. Over the past 10 years, the city has provided Mr. Pitzer and his representatives with all public records from the criminal investigation into Casey Pitzer's death on several occasions. To the extent that Mr. Pitzer seeks records regarding the investigation not already in his possession, such records are either not public records, not in the city's possession, or do not exist. What will it take for you to feel at peace with us? For the people that done this to go to jail. And we did reach out to the FBI today to see if they are investigating this case. Last time we reached out to them when it was first reported that they were requested, a spokesperson told us that they were aware of the request but could not confirm or deny if they were investigating it. If we do get another response, we will, of course, update you here on air and on fox19now.com. We're live from the FBI. Courtney King, Fox 19.